Hello, hello, this is Blue Hair and Tarot. We are going to do a read for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of July. You and your person. If you would like a personal read, my information is in the description box down below. We're going to call on your higher self and get a clear guided message about you and your person. All right, we have, it's safe for you to love, Sagittarius. Open your heart and give and receive the highest energy of all. We and trust. This situation is calling you, for you to have faith. Oh, I like this. So let's get their energy, release your ex. Okay. Somebody in this relationship needs to release their ex. Um, release past energies, release like kind of old expectations in relationships and allow. I do feel like this relationship, this energy is kind of guided by spirit. Um, I feel like this relationship is for you, for some of you, um, you literally need to trust. Okay. For some of you, you're stuck on an ex. And for you to move forward, you need to release your ex. For others of you, for you to move forward, you need to release past energies and realize it is safe to have a new love and not get held on past fears and patterns. Um, release those expectations, release those attachments and move on and trust the divine because I feel like it's calling, it's calling love in for you. Your higher self is calling love in for you. Let's get to the bottom of the deck. Yeah, getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. So for a lot of you, you're getting to know a new lover, a new person, a new a new person, right? A new love. And it is safe for you to love this person. Um, this person might need to release their ex or you might need to release their ex. It's a release and moving on energy for this read. So pretty cool, pretty cool. All right, let's see. What else do we have for Scorpio? I mean, Sagittarius. I'm so sorry, Sag. What do I want to do? Okay. High Priestess. Hmm. Your energy. You're a little bit wanderer. Now be silent. Let the one who creates the word speak. He made the door. He made the key. He also made the lock. He also made the key. Let the one who create words speak. Um, wow. You really are called to lean in and have faith and trust the divine in this. Okay. I really do feel like the divine, your higher self is guiding this new love to come in. And it truly is kind of a releasing of the X energy, the old energies, the old patterns and allow what is yours to come in. You have a little bit of resistance of this. Um, you might be hiding a little bit too from yourself or from this new person or from this new energy coming in and a little bit of resistance to a new, a little bit of resistance to trust. Okay. And maybe a little bit of resistance to release that X or that old energy. Um, kind of like a resistance to, mm, yeah, moving on from it. Okay. This energy coming in for wands, if you love someone, you are always joined with them in joy, in absence, in solitude, and in strife. All right. For a few of you, um, this person coming in is a very beautiful, har this could be a very beautiful, harmonious relationship with the four of wands, something very balanced. Um, four of wands, they call it the 1111, the twin flame relationship, whatnot. Um, in the highest, like, it's just, it's the love that you seek. It's the love that you are. And it reflects that back at you in its highest form. Um, yeah, this love coming in is big love. Um, very balanced, very harmonious, a reflection of the love that you are. So it is safe for you to love. It is safe for you to trust. Um, release old patterns and expectations of love because this beautiful thing is coming in for you. Um, for some of you, you might be reconciling 
you know, with an ex, but you would need to release your ex to reconcile with your ex, if that makes any sense. Okay. All right. So in the past energies, you have the page of swords overthinking, sell your cleverness and buy bewilderment. Cleverness is mere opinion. Bewilderment brings intuitive knowledge. Okay. So one of the things you want to release is overthinking. <laughs> um, it has not served you. Um, maybe thinking too much about the ex or that old energy, even if you don't have like a, a longing or a love for this ex energy, it you might still be entangled in what they did to you, um, what it was like for you to be in it, maybe some of the trauma involved in it, you know, overthinking that maybe the next person's gonna be like that, maybe just like not moving on from the story of that old relationship person or energy, right? You're overthinking about it. Um, Spirit's asking you to move on from that. Spirit's bringing you in a very harmonious situation, within, without, okay? All right. You're having a hard time leaving that energy with the Eight of Cups in reverse. <laughs> move, but don't move the way fear makes you move. Um, yeah. You do not, you're, you're releasing fear. You're releasing overthinking. Um, you're releasing fear. Um, what do I want to say about that? Let me, let me do one more card. Wow. Okay. Two of swords, future energy. Wisdom tells us why we are not worthy. Love tells us why we are. My life flows between the two. You are working on balancing the heart and the mind. Um, I do feel like actually um, you're moving into a really happy place. Wish fulfillment is coming your way at the bottom of the deck. I got the nine of cups, but the beauty we love be what we do. Honestly, I'm feeling like you're moving on from the inner conflict of this ex relationship, this ex person, this ex energy. Um, there's a little bit of like you're moving away from, why is that eight of cups there? I'm just going to clarify the eight of cups right now in reverse. Yeah, cool. You're moving away from the illusion. You're moving away from the ways of the mind. You're moving away from that which no longer serves you. You're taking the blindfold off. Okay, yeah, you're moving towards balance and harmony. The eight of cups in reverse means like you're hanging on and you're not moving away. And that's why the high priest is in reverse. There's an energy coming in for you. If it is not here yet, it is coming. You're moving away from one thing that was pretty um, entangled. It did have fear in it. It was illusory. It didn't, it didn't have balance. It didn't have harmony. There wasn't trust there. So you're moving into self-trust. You're moving into self-love. You're moving into inner harmony. You're moving into inner union. You're letting go of overthinking. You're trusting the divine. I mean, you're moving into a state of peace and balance. What was this card? What did it say again? Wisdom tells us why we are not worthy. So it's like, yeah, the overthinking of like why you're not worthy, why the other person's not worthy. You know, judging another person, whether they're good or bad or worthy or not, it's just a judgment to oneself. Um, a judgment out is very often a judgment towards yourself, towards God, towards how you see the world. Just stop judging. Get out of the thinking. Move into trusting. Allow the universe to bring you what is yours. Move into a place of harmony, which I do see you doing. There's a little bit of transition and moving away from fear, moving away from this old energy and into a place of peace. So you're moving away from the, know, from the wisdom, knowing mind stuff and into love. It tells us that we are worthy. Okay. My life flows between the two. Yeah. It's kind of going back and forth between these two energies. I mean, we do use the mind, but it's like using love and how love tells you how you are worthy and how others are worthy and like looking at the good and the divinity and all things. And then teaching the mind again to reflect that back as well through thought. So if that made any sense. Let's clarify the, yes, 
So, this person coming in finds you, well, first of all, there's clarity coming in for you and there's love coming in for you. You are having a little bit of trouble changing the perspective, moving into like kind of the clear, you know, fresh new start, um, free from all that past energy that no longer serves. Um, but it's coming. You got happiness, you got love, you got romance, um, you know, kind of right around the corner here, right around the corner. Yes. Communication in the past was pretty poor when it came to the old relationship. Yeah, you, you left Eight of Cups in old relationship. This is so interesting. So the Eight of Cups, there was, there was somebody that you had, there was too much thinking, there was too much thought, there was too much fear and bad communication between you and your ex or you and another person or, um, you know, yeah, um, and so you walked away. You walked away, and there's this new energy of harmony coming in for you, and uh, you're still stuck a little. Like, you know, like right now in the present moment, you're a little bit, like, not sure if, you know, it's, it's, like, it's like the garbage hasn't been completely emptied, so to speak, for you to have a completely new beginning or move completely in love. And, and follow your heart, follow spirit, okay? So <laughs> there's a little bit of like maybe a lack of trust. Maybe this person seems a little fishy with the love that they have to offer. Um, but this person with the four of cups in reverse, okay, four of cups upright to me means like kind of apathy. So this person is not apathetic. I think this person is open but they're not like super gung-ho tons of fire right um they're done being like bummed out about love right they're ready for for love or for whatever love has to offer um but maybe they're not quite sure of love themselves maybe they're reflecting that kind of un i want to say unsurety <laughs> um, uncertainty um, that maybe you have a little bit left of with the eight of cups in reverse, like, you know, still tied to like a relationship in the past that had really bad communication, a lot of fear, overthinking, mind, mind games, even um, not trustworthy trickery, right? Um, this person's not offering you that, but you, what, how do I want to say? They are mirroring you. So if you are kind of fishy, they're going to be a little fishy like in their offers, but they're not coming. I mean, they are really mirroring you with the four of wands and then showing the fish. They, they're offering you love, right? But it just seems a little unstable and a little unsure, but they're not coming from a place like they're positive about it. They're getting over as well as you apathy and love. Okay, we have the two of wands in reverse. And one more. And then we have, okay, yeah, awesome. You really are moving away from the overthinking. You're moving into a place of peace. Again, with the two of wands, there's a little bit of resistance of letting go of the old, okay? So that might take a little bit of time for you. It might take a little bit of time, but this, this is coming together, okay? You're gonna be waiting for your, um, there's a little bit of waiting upon spirit. Spirit's bringing this in for you. There's not much you need to do except just trust and lean in. This is coming in for you. It is gonna come in slow, and I actually feel like that is good because you're taking, there is some time to kind of unravel, and untie the knots of the old, learn to trust, learn to just be, learn to trust spirit. Spirit is bringing you in something pretty authentic, very harmonious, very beautiful. So congratulations. I'm going to do a little bit more for you. So we're going to do, what do they hope for? They want to you to believe in them. <laughs> um, they want success. Um, yeah. They want this with you. They want what you want. Love.
They want true love. Okay, they don't want to follow the will of the world, right? They want to move beyond the duality in the mind and into the light of truth. Okay. Um, wow. <laughs> they don't want conflict. They don't, they, this person's like kind of on the same trajectory as you. You know? They want to detach from the ways of the world and move into a place of true love, unconditional love, love brought by love, love reflecting love. Interesting. Because this is like the Seven of Swords is, is a card of battle and conflict. But with this ripping apart the battle and like moving in, like it reminds me of like stories of like when there's a war and then all of a sudden like the Holy Spirit like comes in and like brings all this peace and light and like miracles in the middle of like a battlefield. It's like it's so it, it's like you're so done with the trauma and the conflict and the war and the trickery that like you call in the light like the light it's like the contrast is so great that the light or the love or the truth comes in because it just it becomes so overwhelming it like breaks the illusion i don't know how to explain it but that's kind of like what i'm getting from the car like this person wants no conflict this person wants to move beyond conflict beyond the will of the mind beyond the will of of the world like they're not even following their own will and desires they're following the desires of love of spirit um and they they believe they want they want to believe in, in love they want to believe in love they're done being depressed about love they're they're done being apathetic about love they want to believe in love is what i'm getting okay <laughs> let's get your what's coming in a little bit more with you what's this coming in yeah judgment um blossom this is an energy spirit is bringing you in a ball of fire spirit is bringing you in a ball of inspiration a ball of fire um it's time it's, it's bringing this love in for you okay okay asking you to go within and to detach, there's still that resistance. Detach from this old energy, from the ways of this duality, into a new vitality. And I really do feel like this is helping you change your focus. I feel like you've already done this, like kind of inner work, changing your focus. You letting go of the past and making the steps to go and lean in and trust and do a new do do a new path work a new cycle move out of the mind move out of the overthinking lean into trust happiness creativity harmony love moving beyond duality into truth um slow and steady um allowing spirit to bring in new opportunities after opportunities money creativity love like it's all coming in for you Okay, I'm gonna do some astrology cards and then I'll let you go. Yeah, transformation, Pluto energy, that has war to it. You know, there's been a bit of a war. Like, you know, if, if some of you feel like you've gone through it and you're just like kind of starting to come out of it, that's what it feels like to me. There's been a little bit of a war, you're coming out of the war, you're leaning in and trusting um what else is there to do after all of that okay um moving back into a new routine of balance what was not balanced in the past is transforming into like your everyday life is just going to start to feel balanced your routine will be balanced and there, there's your soulmate representing balance representing harmony harm two that's like my two of cups card in this so transforming like that the war zone moving into the 11 though uh, moving into routine your routine will be balanced and it will be balanced like six is also like a number of harmony and love it's a lot of love coming in for you a lot of balance a lot of creativity 
And I'm gonna leave it at that. I hope you enjoyed that Sagittarius. That looks pretty awesome. If you'd like a personal read, my information's down below. And I am so grateful for all of you. And till the next time, take care.